Hey guys, Technically Jeff here, and today I'm gonna to show you the best, easiest, and most cost-effective way I've found to turn your vehicle's infotainment system into a fully functional, essentially tablet that allows you to watch videos on your car's display, run navigation, run OBD2 monitoring apps like Car Scanner, honestly run pretty much any Android app you want, and it comes with wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built in too. And the high-end version of this, which I'm running and definitely recommend, is under $200. I'm gonna go over all the details with you guys, so let's get to it. Now you may have seen my previous video review of the AI box from One Car Stereo. The technical name for it is the T-Box. I got that several months ago and it's been working fine for me. I know a lot of other people have gotten it as well and it's been working great for them too. This though is essentially an upgraded version of that device for a significantly lower price. Again, the AI box is the T-Box. This new device is the Carlink at T-Box Plus and I got autokitcarplay.com to provide you guys a promo code, TechJeff, that brings the cost down to only $180 and that's over $100 less than the normal price for the basic AI box from One Car Stereo, and that's a lot of money. And remember, this is an upgraded unit. This runs Android 12 instead of Android 9, so it's a much newer operating system, which helps in a variety of ways. It also has a newer, faster Qualcomm processor, and 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, both of which are twice as much as the regular T-Box. This will translate to faster processing, faster load times, better stability, and that 128 gigs of storage means you can download a lot more movies and TV shows to watch on the go using your home's Wi-Fi without having to use data. And if you want, you can get an LTE SIM card from your wireless carrier and use data that way without the need for Wi-Fi or using a mobile hotspot. And the T-Box Plus is compatible with more frequency bands than the original T-Box 2, including the important band 71, which is a necessity if you have T-Mobile or one of its MNVOs like Mint Mobile. So with all that said, I'm a tech guy, obviously, and when I saw this available with all the upgrades that the T-Box Plus offers at such an inexpensive price, I had to get one to test out. And honestly, I'm really excited about this because it does work so well, and at this price point with the TechJeff discount code, a lot more people will be able to afford it and get to have all these features. So anyway, enough of me talking, let's get it unboxed and we can test it out. I'll take it out here. It's nice and thin, definitely thinner than the regular AI box. You can see the USB-C charge port and SIM card and micro SD card slot here. You can see the label. This is the T-Box Plus version for North America with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. I'll go ahead and take the protective plastic off here. It looks good. I like the finish on it. It's got a lot of holes on the bottom, which should help with heat dissipation, which is good. We also have a USB-C to USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB-C cable. So no matter which kind you need for your vehicle, you'll be good to go. Then we have a little user manual with some information on getting it set up. And yeah, it looks good. Let's get it plugged in. So for the Kia EV6 and a lot of vehicles, you'll use the USB-A to USB-C cable. I'll unfold it here and plug it into the T-Box Plus. Nice and tight fit. Then I'll plug it into the vehicle's USB-A data port.
and it lights up and I'll just sit it in the cubby underneath for now and it will turn on and pull everything up It calibrates the display output to match the size of the vehicle's display. Then it's going to restart. And this is what it looks like when it loads up. It gives you a warning about not using it while the vehicle is in motion, obviously. You can check the box to have this not show up again, which is nice. So I'll tap that and hit agree and accept. And here we go. This is the default home screen launcher. It is running Android 12, but it is compatible with both Android and iPhones. You can see it comes preloaded with various apps. It's nice and responsive. It's laid out very similar to the regular T-Box since it's running the same launcher. I'll tap settings here. This does look different. We have a lot of options for various settings we can change. I'll increase the video definition to the highest here. If you tap more, you get the normal Android settings menu. I'll go ahead and enable dark theme here. I do prefer that. And I'll go ahead and pull up the software version here too. You can see it is indeed running Android 12 and it has those eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. We have the same floating navigation bar as the normal T-Box. You just tap the white dot and it opens up the menu where you can go to the home screen, go back, go to recent apps, open the voice assistant, do side-by-side -side windows, clear RAM, and exit to the car's normal infotainment system. It's pretty easy to use. I'll go to the bottom here and pull up the T-Box Plus version info for anyone that's interested as well. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi, log into some apps, download some additional apps from the Play Store, and I'll be right back. Now I'll go ahead and open up YouTube here and show you guys that. It's basically what you see on a tablet. I can pull up my channel here. Go to videos and tap on one here. Hey guys, technically Jeff here, and today I have a new dash cam to review, and this is one. And it pulls it up good. Bitcam X sent me their 4K dash cam to test out, and it has all the features you would expect from a 4K dash cam. Wi 
Audio quality is good. There are no issues with stuttering. If you tap the screen, you can see a list of additional videos underneath it, like on a tablet or phone. Then we'll tap the white dot and tap home to go back to the home screen. I'm going to go into the settings here and try out launcher style two. And that's new. That's pretty cool. You can have the maps up and various widgets and a speedometer, which is nice. Right now it's in kilometers per hour, so I would change that if I were to use this, but that's pretty neat. I'll go ahead and pull up HBO Max here and show you guys that. And I had opened up Chrome and then tapped the multi-window button, so I'll show you how that looks. You can see it on the side, it's waiting for me to choose the other window. So I'll open back up HBO Max. And there we go. Now one thing I will download is Nova Launcher. I use that to customize my home screen and my app list on all my devices, and it works pretty well. While that's downloading, I'll show you guys Disney+. Plus. There are some apps that you'll find the App Store will say is not compatible, like Disney Plus here. For those, you can search using Google Chrome for the APK to download. Be sure to use a reputable site like APK Mirror. Then, once you download it, you can give it permission to install, and it will install it that way, and it'll work just fine. Now I'll show you guys a couple more things. If you tap Home, you can see it takes you out of everything. Then you just tap Apple CarPlay to go back to it. It does run using the Apple CarPlay protocol. For wireless connectivity, you tap Auto Kit. This will connect it to the wireless Android Auto in my instance. You can adjust some settings here, like having it automatically connect when it starts up. And I'll show you it works just like normal here. Audio quality is good. You have your normal Android Auto experience. Then you tap Google to go back to the T-Box Plus interface. Now one question I know will come up is how long does it take to turn on? So let's check that out. I'll unplug it here, then plug it right back in.
And there we go. Not bad at all. I did select to have wireless Android Auto start automatically, so I'll cancel that. But yeah, it's looking good. Now I'm going to go log into everything and set up Nova Launcher. All right, it is another day since it was getting late, but you can see my new setup here. I'll go ahead and open up Disney Plus so you can see that working. Oh, Ahsoka is out. Oh, it's just a trailer. Okay, I'll go down and let's pull up Iron Man 3. It looks good. You can't really tell the video quality since I'm taking a video of a video, but it is very clear and in HD. Go ahead and go back. And you can see you have the full catalog. Now I'll pull up Discovery Plus. And there we go. My kids like the Kids Baking Championship. <laughs> and it's working well. You can see the downloads here too. You can download episodes and movies directly in these apps to the T-Box Plus. Now I'll pull up Netflix. Again, we have the option to download here too. Most, if not all of these apps have that option, which is nice. But I'll press play. And again, it works well. This brightness control doesn't seem to do anything like it does on cell phones. And yeah, again, no stuttering or any issues. I've had no freeze ups with this, which is nice. Now I want to show you guys Car Scanner 2. I have it connected to my Bluetooth OBD2 reader and it works great.
You can see all the details about the vehicle and the battery. I'll also show you guys the Omu app connected to my new 12 volt battery from Omu. It works well too. It's pretty cool to have all this in my car's display. You can see I have a variety of apps here, but again, you can download thousands from the Google Play Store. I also have ABRP installed, which is nice for EV route planning. You can see it has my vehicle details here and you have all the options that you have in the app. And if you get ABRP premium, you can connect it to your OBD2 reader and get live data for more accuracy, which is pretty cool. Now again, I have Nova Launcher installed, which is how I customize the home screen and app list here. I'll probably do a future video on customization options. For now though, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how it all works and what it can do. But yeah, overall it's working really well. It's smooth and responsive. It looks good. Honestly, it looks and works just like a tablet. And like I said, for the price, you can't really beat it. I'll post a link in the description, but it's from autokitcarplay.com. And again, this is the T-Box Plus version. And be sure to use promo code TechJeff for 18% off, bringing this version with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage to only $180, which is just incredible. So anyway, let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. I have a lot on the way. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.